Does this red match that red? No, it doesn't even. <gasps> oh shit! Oh, this <laughs> I see you, I see you. Oh shit, check it out. It looks like it fucking sledding. This is so good. Oh shit, y'all know oh, him? I'm gonna be checking in with one of my friends. I haven't seen her in about a year. Last time I seen her, we were like juniors. And well, like, that's before she transferred in. When she told me, like, we were at this very spot. And then after that, we went to go get like Asian food. And I think that's what we're gonna do right now. Cause she told me, link at 5.30 and I was like, merch. But like, you know, I, I get a little excited when it comes to like seeing my friends again. So I'm always out earlier. But it's not like I'm being annoying, you know, like I'm just chilling right now. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to think about like things I could say or things I'm going to say. Because in a way, like not only am I seeing one of my old friends, but like I'm re-meeting them. Because when you leave someone and you come back to them, like you re-meet them. Because they're not the same from when you last saw them, you know, like things have changed. And things continue to change as time passes. I haven't seen a lot of people in a while, so I, I kind of got used to it kind of got used to a bunch of changes what happens in between the time that you last see them and you see them again within that portion of time a lot can happen and like a lot can impact a person so you always just got to check up on, on people and i guess that's just what i'm about to go do hopefully it goes well you know You know, I haven't really been vlogging on my own because I've been focusing on crack wax and I feel like I shouldn't because at the end of the day, it is my channel and I just started for myself. But I've always wanted that kind of bond where I have like a group of friends and we do a bunch of fun shit and you guys watch. It's kind of fun. It is because I feel inspired to want to do better, you know, and for you guys to be impacted by the good things and pro probably some of the hood rat shit we do but you know what we're chicagoan teenagers and i guess this is the shit we do because <laughs> the shit we do one thing about me is that i have a lot of friends and um well with that being said, there's always <laughs> a conversation with someone new and it's kind of awkward because like I really at 17 finally managed to have a group. I mean, it's good, you know, I finally managed to do it, but it was a struggle because, you know, I talk to a shitload of people and I love people. Like, that's just one thing about me. I just love people, but I guess I can't always just have everybody talk to me, you know? That's just me, though. Um, everyone has their way of life. Um, I just love talking to people. I there's not a day I don't talk to a single person. That's just that's everyone though. Like everyone talks to somebody. Like if you don't, like you're just I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you. You know what? I do know what's wrong with you. A bunch of shit is wrong with you. Like why are you isolating yourself in the world? Like there's so much to learn cuz by communication you learn. And yeah, you do learn it in books because it is part of communication. Like someone actually wrote that. Someone sat down, wrote it, and is communicating information and key details for you to understand new prompts and shit. I guess that's what makes school um, good in a way. You don't need school to be an engineer like, or a fucking human computer. Some people were born into doing that shit, you know? And in the process, they did learn because, you know, with communication, you... Oh shit, that's a fat cock. Look at that. Wait. You don't need school to be most of these jobs. Like, if you're an entrepreneur, you're gonna be good on your own. Like, let's say cosmetology, you start from the bottom. You learn 
let's say you have your friends, you learn off them. You get a career off it because you practice and as you practice, you get better. It's all a matter of practice on how you like do things, handle things. Um, for instance, if you want to wake up early, you got to set an alarm or I don't know, sleep earlier. Or I don't know, have your mom wake you up. Something that like keeps you wanting to progress. Um, I don't know, my way of wording things is so fucked up sometimes. I, I apologize. But, this is lit. Young Mula, baby. Yo! <laughs> Damn, you already know how good I'm eating shit. <laughs> we back out here. And, um, Look good to introduce Anthony. There you go, Anthony. Oh. Papa Perk, go stupid. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Fake Taxi. Um. <laughs> Hi, Uber for Max. What? Yeah, we're all getting our nails done. Yeah, um, so Oscar's like YouTube famous, so say hi to his channel. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, bro? Hi, Max. Okay, oh, so, so you know what? It's like I'm asking you these questions, but I can ask you these questions too. Okay, we both have to answer. Yeah, YouTube famous? Yeah, he's about to be. I'm, I'm lame as fuck. Right okay, now. wait. It's cool though, like, I don't do it like that. Like, did I you just post them on your Max, did your phone die? Oh, yeah. Because I, like, I sent you a text and it just didn't work out. Where'd, where am I going to drop you off at? What are you talking about? Like, after? What turns you off the most when you're meeting a person? When they're cocky as hell, bro. Like, they're just bragging about everything. And they just try to show off. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they're not humble. Like, that shit turns me off. What about you? What about you, Max? Uh, you know what turns him off? <laughs> Connie. <laughs> His ex-girlfriend. His ex-girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, you are? <laughs> Okay, I don't know what it is. She can make me mad. I don't know the shit out of me. I'm like, I'll suck for his brown shit. I'll suck for his brown shit. Oh my god. Bro, um. <clears throat> I have to drive really slow. Oh, I barely even pressed the gas. I have a trouble. I was about to say some dumb shit too. Okay, go ahead. So, yeah, that ass. What turns you off, Max? Same. They just cock and they think they know shit. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. I fucking hate people like that, bro. Like, like for a guy to have big dick energy, like he needs to be really humble, like about everything, including his dick size. <laughs> Damn. Bro, What's seven? the most irritating name to you? The most what? Irritating name to you. Name? Yeah. Natalie. Bro, everybody calls me Natalie. Like, <laughs> where's the fucking E at the end of my name? Bitch. And it's so annoying because I hate all Natalies. Like, everyone that I met, I just fucking. Everyone calls you Natalie too. Or like nuts. when, when, when they're or wait, wait, or nut. Or nut, yeah, nut. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I used to call her nut, but then I don't know. It, it was nut and germs. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so disgusting. <laughs> nut and germs. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've done to a person? Oh my god. I can't even say it because this is about to go on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you know what? You know what's worse than like what have anything? You done? I'm a, we're about to commit a murder right now. <laughs> no, no, like, we're about to go from <laughs> the bank. Dude, why is the heat on? Like, this you ever uh, heard about Leopold and Loeb? What? Leopold and Loeb. They're two Chicagoan wealthy teenagers back in 1921. Okay. And, well, both of them, they were smart as fuck. One of them, Loeb, he was 14 at the time. He went to college and, oh, and graduated so sorry, high school at 14. That that man was at amazing. 14. Yeah, that man was fucking smart. At fourteen. Yeah. Bro. Imagine if we all graduated at fourteen, bro. Yeah, that's smart that's as so fuck. fucking fun. Leopold, the other one, he's um, he speaks five languages. Oh. He's wealthy as fuck. Um, what do you like? He was inspired by this German um, nihilist. You know what li nihilism is? Yeah, kind of. Okay, so, um, he believed in that shit. So, that led him to wanting to kill, for the thrill of it. 
this one time um both of them they were gay so like it was a it was a gay like murder case but like what made it interesting was that they were rich they had no reason to kill <clears throat> So then this one time, both of them get in the car. They're, they're riding around their neighborhood and they spot one of Loeb's second cousins. Okay. His name is Bobby Franks. So then, is that actually his name? Yeah, that's his name. So his how do you know Bobby. the story? Wait, okay. no. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Oh my god. So I buried sad, the body I, and I like, it, I'm literally pressing on the brakes so easily right now and it just fucking does that, bro. Like, what the fuck? All right, let me continue, okay, continue. the story. I'm so sorry. Okay, so Bobby Franks is Loeb's second. You know what? <laughs> Let me put on my glasses. Yeah, I keep. Okay, so. Bobby Franks is um, Lope's second cousin. And, well, they used to play baseball together because they lived in the same neighborhood. And um, he told me, he's like, get oh, in the car, get in the car. That just squirted all over my face. <laughs> oh my okay, continue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, get in the car, get in the car. And, well, the boy had no, no reason why not to say no because, like, he already knew him, right? That's the second cousin. So then they get in the car and then they start riding around. And then with a with a chisel, they they fucking like with a what? Chisel, you know. Okay, what a chisel okay, 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 okay. They they fucking um stab his head. They fucking <laughs> stab his head G, in the car. So so there's blood everywhere. And then um they fucking use a sock and they fucking put it in his mouth. So okay, then so they good. like they kill him and like he dies within minutes. So then they ride down south um, of Chicago, like six miles south. They buried the, the body under a rail, railway culvert. That's fucking crazy. How do you know the story? Bro, because I had to study it, like, for, 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 my, for uh, my honors English class. Yeah, I had a presentation. I was high as fuck. <laughs> bro, let me tell you, I was, I was, uh, that's another story, bro. It's funny as hell. Okay. Did you guys just see that guy driving past us, or am I being fucking stupid? He had like cowbells and he was just ringing them. I mean, I hear him, but. <laughs> what the fuck? And he was just staring at me while he's doing it, like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. Where was I? Uh, something about how. About this, about the, on the. Oh, yeah, yeah railway like, culvert. So then they fucking bury the body there, but before they pour hydrochloric acid on the body. You know what hydrochloric yeah. acid does to the Dude, body? Have you watched Breaking Bad? No. Um, uh, Max, do you? No. Okay. Anyways. Okay, so. I want you to put it right there. I want I want to leave it there too, but it's just gonna keep falling. Wait, go. Oh, wait. Uh, it's gonna work. Push the water bottle away. Right? I feel like it's gonna move. Oh. Um, oh my god. Yeah, bro, how We're all about to die. Here, bro. Oh, bro. Please don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be scared. <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> That would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. I think it's the case. If I took off the case. Try it. Maybe. Wait. So they poured hydrochloric acid on the body. And you know what the fuck hydrochloric acid does to the body? Bro, like, like that shit. It just like damages yeah. the fuck out of the skin. And like. And the they, bones, everything. Yeah, yeah, it's so ugly. <laughs> so they pour it and they just leave the body there. But um, little did they know that while they left, one of them dropped a pair of glasses. That, that was one of the biggest mistakes, but okay. Are those the glasses you're wearing right now? Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, so then days passed and they continued their regular lives. They didn't give a fuck because, you know, they're criminals. Like, they're like, whatever. Their nihilism. Their nihilism led them to, like, not give a fuck about shit. So, um, Loeb, he, like, he went on with his days, but then Leopold, like, he would, he would, like, when, when they found the body, like, and the interviewers, the reporters and shit, they would, they would go around asking, they were like, oh, what happened? Like, do you know of anything? Like, because, you know, like, they were around the community at the time because they lived there. You know most criminals do that? Yeah. They get involved with the community? Mm hmm And the police? Yeah. So they can hide their shit better. So then he, no, he told one of the reporters, if I were, if I were to murder uh, someone, it would be someone like Bobby Franks. That's what he said. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so then... What, what got them in trouble was that when they dropped a pair of glasses, there was, um, there was uh, fucking two letters on it at the bottom of it, at the end of the glasses, and it said L and T. So then they realized that the, that pair of glasses, that specific pair of glasses was, um, like, um, made specifically by someone. 
for the, for them, you know. So then, only three pair of but only three pair of those glasses were sold in the city of Chicago. So they tracked it down to Leopold, That's and so then yeah, pop. yeah, that shit was so pop. Like you couldn't have bought any other glasses. <laughs> Dumb as fuck, G. Like, but you know what they did? They were demanding for money. They t- they demanded ten grand from from the family. They um fucking. They kept sending them letters and shit, and that shit was just stupid as fuck because they got caught at the end. And why were they asked for money if they were already wealthy? You know, right. that doesn't make sense. It was for the thrill of it. That's so fucked up. Like, killing people? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but let me tell you. I was high as fuck when I did my presentation, bro. Like, I, um, fucking... My dad's calling. No one talk, okay? Okay. If you were an engineer, what would you build? Well, guess what? I'm actually going to be an engineer, so... Let me really think about what I would build. I think I'd make something for animals. Like, like that ass. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what, but, like, I, it would be something for animals. For animals? Be so specific, that, like... Okay, like, let's say, like, you can't take care of your animal, right? Yeah. Or, like, you can, but, like, you're not home as often, or, like, when you're not home, they, they will still be taken care of, like, food, water, like, whatever it is, like, they'll be, like, I don't I know. I really think there's a program like that. Like, you FaceTime your dog, you can FaceTime your dog, and it, it like, pushes the paw. Oh, shit. And then they could click on, like, like... There, there's a little system and it clicks on feeding the dog like so like there's a what little button what do you button. mean? I don't Are know I've seen it no I'm not kidding I've seen it in the video like what you but install that, a that's camera? true you get yeah, like taking care of a dog I, like animals, I would want that animals what's your favorite animal? turtles what would you do with a turtle? I have two what do you mean what would I do with a turtle? <laughs> I would step on them I would step on you, try <laughs> and come to my house and fucking try to hurt my turtles. <laughs> you know Our what? friendship will end. <laughs> you know, um, you ever played Mario Kart? Uh, no, everyone's fucking playing that shit. <laughs> Anything that's like overrated and everyone's doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing them holes over the bitches. Yeah, I'm throwing the bitches, bro. Are people born the way they are, or are they actually taught to be that person? I think that they become that person. How so? Be- okay, like, think about yourself and, like, the journey you've been on. You were not the same person you were when you were little. And every, like, dude, people can change within days. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like Within seconds, bro. Yeah, it just like, happens. exactly. And, like, I don't know if this is going to offend anyone. I don't even know if I should say it. If anything, you can crop it out. Like, I don't care. I don't think people are born gay either. Like, it's just some, like, because, look, when I was little, literally had a crush in kindergarten. Like, I knew I was straight, like... I like boys, like, I don't know how to explain it, you know, like, yeah. it's just like, you you just kind of like learn it and like, you just kind of like whatever you like, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't, I think everything is learned, it's not, you're not born with anything, people who are like geniuses and shit, they fucking, yeah, they have talent, but like, they did, they practice, they worked as hard as everyone else. They what about people with autism? Oh yeah, that, dude, that's like a, that's like a, that's like genetics, that's like yeah. from genetics, biology, like that shit is like... That's, like, actually, like, in your brain and shit. Like, yeah. I don't explain it. Like, that shit's happening but like, in your brain. But mental illnesses, like, let's say, let's say, like, dementia or, like, depression, anxiety, like, you can you can either, like, have that or, like, y- you have it over time. Like, it's not something that, like, you're just labeled as. Like, I don't know how to explain it. No, 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 yeah, definitely. You're right. Yeah. I think I'm a, I don't like this one. It's too dark. I like this one. Sorry. Get this one. Right here. <laughs> oh, this one? Okay, I think I like this one. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, this one.